Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout and Interpreter and Country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with pretty Miss Sheila behind the camera back there. Hi, Sheila. Hi. All right, you got to bear with me a little bit. I got a little bit of laryngitis, but we're going to work through it anyway because today we're going to make pickled hot dogs. Now, every other recipe that I see on the internet, they call them pickled sausage. That's fine if you want to call hot dog sausage. People over in Germany that make all the great, or Polish, people that make the great Polish and brats and all that stuff, to me, this is sausage. And I wouldn't pickle this because it already has all the spices and flavor within itself. Hot dogs are just kind of almost the same thing as bologna where they're run through a machine and mixed with a little bit of corn syrup and a little bit of garlic, but mostly a paste like that squeezed into a into a casing and then it's sprayed with liquid smoke then it's cooked and they peel the casing off and you've got these little strips of what a lot of people call sausage but I'm not gonna call them sausage I'm gonna call them hot dogs we're gonna make some pickled hot dogs and they're really great And what we're gonna start with in our little pot here is four cups of white vinegar I wanted to get that part out of the way so I could have you come up closer and I'll show you what we're gonna put in here like I said, we're going to make pickled hot dogs. Now these are Frank's here, but here's the best part. These things are only a dollar a package if you buy 10 packages over here at Kroger's. They're normally a buck and a half a package or 10 for $10. That's all, and these are one pound, so that's only a dollar a pound for what's inside of here. And I'm thinking in a future show, I'm going to take 10 pounds of these, run them through a meat grinder on course, mix in a bunch of other goodies, put them in a hamburger press, and cook them out on the grill. Because now you're cooking, instead of at $3.99 a pound for hamburger, you're paying a dollar a pound for this meat. Now you're going to need a couple of quart jars, and you're only going to need two packages of these hot dogs. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put my goodies in this brine. I got my four cups of vinegar in there. We're going to put in a lot of spices here in this little dish. And I didn't want to put them in one at a time, so I thought I'd just mix them all together. There's a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, one and a half tablespoons of pickling spice, and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And don't worry, I'll put all the ingredients in the description below so you can just copy it and paste it. And we're going to dump all those in our white vinegar. And we're also going to put in about, oh, kind of a good cereal spoon full of minced garlic in there. But I'm also going to put garlic in the jars in just a little bit. And speaking of garlic, while this is heating up, I need to get my garlic cloves peeled. So I'll do what my Uncle Bob does. He dumps all this garlic, break up them big cloves, and he puts it in a fruit jar. Now we're going to shake the fire out of this for about 22 seconds. Watch this. Alright, I didn't want you to have to watch me shake that, but look at this. This is so cool. Just throw your garlic in a fruit jar, shake it, and all your garlic basically peels itself. And that that didn't come off, it just pops right out because it's so beat up. So that's how I do that. Now here's an update. First of all, I need to add a half a cup of sugar to my brine over here. I forgot to put that in. Now you can put in a quarter cup or you can put in no sugar at all and eat them real vinegary little hot dog things like they used to serve in a bar, but I don't care for that. But I'm going to just put in a half a cup of sugar in this brine, give it a little bit of stir here because it's getting pretty hot and I want it to dissolve good. Now, I want to also tell you for those that see me put pickling spice in there, remember pickling spice already has a lot of goodies in it. So I'll, let me read some stuff on the back here. It's got mustard seeds, cinnamon, ginger, bay leaves, red pepper, even though we added extra red pepper for this, caraway, allspice, black pepper, coriander, cloves, all kinds of goodies. You can buy this in the store. So a lot of people send me a post and they'll say, what kind of pickling spice, what are the ingredients in pickling spice? Don't worry about it. Just go to the store and buy one of these little metal cans or one of these plastic bottles that says pickling spice right on there. And that's what you'll want to use. Now it's time for our secret ingredient. One cup of Frank's hot sauce. We're going to pour that in our brine over here. I know I got this off camera because I'm getting ready to work on the next thing and that's these hot dogs. 
And again, you can say that we're pickling sausage, and theoretically it is a sausage, but it's really just hot dogs to me. And uh, I like the best bite size to fit in the jar and to use for crackers later on, and I'll show you why, is I take these hot dogs and I cut them in half to start with, like so. And then I cut the halves in half. So they're a perfect little bite size, that big. Okay. And you'll need one package for each quart jar because we're also going to put some onions in there. All right, let's see here. We'll put in a little bit of them. And a little bit of onion. Get in there, don't fight me now. And it should hold one package if you pack her down in there. And looky there. Got a wide mouth jar and a wide mouth cook to go with it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Sheila. All right. See, and that's one jar, so we're all set. But we're out of onion, so I'm going to cut one up here quick for this other jar. And how I do that, I just chop off each side. And then I'm going to cut her in half and pull off this out cap on each one. They come right off when you cut it up like this. And I want these to be bigger chunks so when they come out of the brine, so you have hot dogs and onions to eat pickled. I'm not going to dice them and I'm not even going to cut them. I'm only going to make like two cuts. That way they're a bigger chunk of onion in there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I always cut down away from my hand and see how they break up kind of long and nice. That'll be just perfect for that jar. There's always one that tries to get away. And like I said, I'm fighting a little bit of laryngitis today, so you got to bear with me. Now I'm going to transfer this over to a bowl so I can cut up my second batch of hot dogs. And I guess I could do all this off camera. Now I'm not really sure where the edit happened because our battery went dead. And Sheila said, hold on, the battery went dead, so let's cut up this other half now that we got a new battery. Remember, we're going to cut our hot dogs in half, and then we're going to cut the halves in half. So basically cut them in four chunks. And that's just about perfect for our, our little ingredient here. One thing i got to tell you, when the camera was off, I took some garlic and I put it in this jar over here because I forgot to do that. So let me get a little bit of onions in this one. Remember, I cut them long like that. Left them long. Let me chuck him in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just dump all the garlic in, these big chunks of garlic. I like to leave them in big chunks because I like pickled garlic along with the rest of them hot dogs. And some more hot dogs here. And a little more onion. And some more hot dogs. Pack them down in there good. Now they say you should leave a little space so you get juice around them, but you trust me, it's good enough because I've already made several sample batches. All right, there we go. Now, all right, there we go. Now, Now let me show you why I cut them the length that I do. Here's a jar that's already done. It's been in the refrigerator for about four or five days. Oh, they're so good. 
Now I gotta admit, I wouldn't have thought just, you know, pickling up some hot dogs, what's that gonna do? But they are really to die for. And when you take a little hot dog out, that's the length of what we cut, and you just cut it in half, it fits perfect on a Ritz cracker. Looky there. Man, oh man, I'm going to pick this up and take a bite, and we're going to have to turn the camera off while I smack, but we'll see you in a little bit. I'm telling you, on a Ritz cracker, that stuff is just fantastic. And there's one other secret ingredient in here. <laughs> You'll notice that we've been cooking with a lot of it lately. Shotgun Reds Touch of Sweet Wine. I'm going to just put in just about a couple tablespoons in that brine. Yeah, I'm going to let it simmer for a while so it cooks the alcohol away, but the flavor is fantastic. It's available right now in Tennessee, but it will soon be available all across the country, and we'll have a button there that tells you where the store locator is and how to order it at shotgunredwine.com. All right, this brine has just cooled off enough to where the simmer bubbles have kind of disappeared, so it's still pretty hot. But I'm going to take this Pyrex cup that I had that Frank's hot sauce in, and I'm going to dip some of this out of here because I want to put it in here while it's still hot. Get a little bit more out of there. Let these sit in the fridge for three to five days, and they're good. They're good for up to, I don't know, they don't last very long anyway, so what are you going to do? All right, there we go. Now I told you I was going to do a, another modification, and I'm going to tell you what that is in just a second. Let me snug that down pretty good. Let me turn it upside down. That's how we're going to set that there and let it cool like that. It's got a nice vinegary bite with a touch of sweetness to it. One more little dab here. And I like to have right about there and I like to have four cups of vinegar to start with just to do this and what it allows me to do now I'm gonna know that this is the sweet one we'll turn that up there and here's my backup plan you see that right there I always chop up another onion and I throw it in there so, I can take the rest of this brine that's in this pot. I know it's blocking the camera shot, but I hate to throw that brine away. So I take the rest of it, and it's about a half a quart left over. Throw some onions in there. You can put in some hard-boiled eggs. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. And it really doesn't waste the rest of that. And I'll just set this off to the side for right now. Do a little house cleaning. And there you have it. They're cooling down, and we'll be back when they're cool enough to turn over. And there you have it, hot and sweet and spicy pickled hot dogs. Don't pickle bratwurst or poly sausages. They already got plenty of good seasoning in them. They don't need it. But take some of those cheap dollar a package hot dogs from the store, cut them up, mix up all these ingredients, make you some brine, pour it over there, and you're going to have a great treat. And there's the finished product right there. After three days, this stuff is really good out of the refrigerator. Mine's about a third empty because Sheila brought me some Ritz crackers and I ate about a third of them before we even taped this show. And whatever you do, don't waste the rest of the brine that's left over after you pour it over these two quarts of hot dogs and onions. Pour it over some onions or some hard-boiled eggs or whatever. And I just love that little dabble do you that's left over. Don't waste it. Pour it on something. If you like our recipes, like these hot and sweet and spicy pickled hot dogs, just click on our subscribe button right there and you'll be the first to know when we come out with something new. Sheila's already waving her hand back there. Don't forget to tell them about a little Shotgun Red doll. They can get them for the kids at ShotgunRed.com and he can join you in your kitchen. Well, I hope this has been kind of a fun recipe to take cheap dollar a package hot dogs and turn them into an incredible little snack. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red and pop these in the refrigerator for about three days and then boy, they're going to be good. I almost forgot, are these the best hot and sweet and spicy little pickled hot dogs you ever ate in your life? 
If they ain't, they ought to be. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.